Good afternoon folks. So once again I find myself in unfamiliar territory somewhere out in Puchong. Never been here before. And the reason I'm here, oh, there's a very nice wajah there, I like that colour. The reason I'm here is because of the corona. I have an amazing story to tell you. First, you have to forgive the uh, the mask. I got a whole bunch of these during Chinese New Year, so I'm going to finish them. I'm not going to stop wearing uh, this, these festive masks just because Chinese New Year is over. So the story goes, um, I drove the Savvy up to Juru to deliver it to the new owner, and I drove the corona back because I let the, I let the new owner actually used the uh, Corona while I was getting the savvy finished up. Yeah, I wasn't ready by the time he came down to collect it. So anyway, one of the things I noticed about the Corona on the drive is that it, she's wallowing very badly when it uh, goes over undulations on the front and uh, the back is no better. So I'm here at this shop. Um, it's called PNR. PNR Suspension Specialists. Okay, the suspension specialist thing, I just made it up myself, okay? But it's actually P and... Sorry, P and G. Procter and Gamble? No. P and G, Service Absorber and Adjustable. Jimat Dari Membeli Baru. I just keyed it into Facebook Marketplace and I found this place. And I gave them a call. And they said, come on over, bring the car, let's have a look. And uh, they just checked it out and said, yes, they can actually rebuild the original shocks. And I'll tell you exactly why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because the original shocks for a Toyota Corona are horrendously expensive. Remember how I got all four shocks for my Saga for a, a song? Well, this one's gonna cost a song and a dance. 180 ringgit per side for the back, 220 ringgit per side for the front. Per side, yeah? So you do the math. And uh, these guys over here, are actually gonna fix my original shock absorbers and it doesn't matter whether they're gas or they're oil shock absorbers they can do both they're actually gonna fix all four forget this 280 ringgit to fix all four siap pasang what kind of a savings is that it's almost like just for one side brand new i can do all four right here so yeah stay tuned for that i'm quite excited to see what they can do I mean, it's all mechanical. It's just a matter of opening up the shocks, changing the O-rings, making sure there's no leaks, pumping in more gas or oil, and voila. I mean, she's riding fine. The ride is okay. I mean, it's not sagging or anything, but there's a definite wallow uh, from the front and also at the back. Um, I'm actually bottoming out the front uh, shock absorbers uh, going over speed humps. So yeah, stay tuned. This is going to be exciting. Something new. Rebuilding shock absorbers. There you go. So here we go, the front tires are coming off. He checked the back. He said the back, the back ones are okay. So he's just gonna do the front. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, sorted folks, sorted for uh, almost the price of one brand new one. I got two front brand new ones, well, rebuilt brand new ones for 240 ringgit. Wow, you know what? Now, now I feel like maybe I should have just done the rears as well because the rears feel fine, it's just the front. Yeah, my rear feels fine. Sorry, that sounds so bloody wrong. My bad, my bad. Uh, but yeah, very very happy. I went over a couple of speed humps just now before I got on the highway and uh, Yeah, it's a bit of a jam, but uh, it was wonderful wonderful. No problem at all They're not bottoming out anymore I did I did tell them to go about 10% harder than stock and they could do that as well, which is great So yeah another option Just as how I said uh, wrapping your car is a uh, one option instead of uh, painting it So here you go rebuild your existing original shocks instead of buying new ones. 
I've saved a bundle actually. I, I, I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah. So, and you know what? It's a it's a new experience which now I can uh, I can use for my other weevils as well. If anything happens with their shock absorbers, I can use that for my weevils as well. Wonderful. Great place. Yeah. So that's it. I'm gonna. Oh, did you see the lightning? So yeah, I, I think it's pouring where I'm heading. So anyway, you all take care. Hope you all had a great week and a weekend. What day is it? Saturday. Yeah. And uh, have a great week ahead, okay? You all take care. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Oh, the brick wagon is almost done. I can't wait to show you the brick wagon. Stay tuned, folks. Take care, y'all. Bye. So here we're back again in familiar territory. My Black Wall Diaries continue. Check me out on Instagram, chris.chriswee. So as you know, this is the last project that we've taken on. And today the bumper has come, the new bumper has come and they're gonna be fitting it. They've already fit the rear bumper. Unbelievable, such a nice fit and I couldn't believe the price, 110 ringgit for this new bumper. Look at that, gorgeous. And it's plug and play, absolutely perfect fit. The bumper is the best thing about the car right now because the body is gone. We need to send this car to Ake after everything is done and then we need to choose a nice set of wheels but I think it's going great. I think it's really, really going great. The engine cover is back on and uh, it's been polished at the bottom. Sorry, I didn't get to see that. I was away delivering the savvy, but as you can see, the engine has been taken care of. This was done by the previous owner, that's new. We put in a new alternator and of course a new battery is gonna go in later. But the cool thing is this is a fuel injected model, so we can actually uh, tune it or clean it, or clean the throttle body over there. But uh, yeah, so the Project Accord, it's coming to fruition soon. So happy to get the bumpers. Thank you, Mr. KK Chia from uh, AME Auto Parts Supply and Park PJ. I got it all from him. I even got the new corner lights from him as well. This was just like 40 bucks for both. Amazing, because that one was, uh, that one's broken, as you can see. So a pair, 40 ringgit for a pair. And uh, the signal lights, the signal lights that go inside here, these signal lights here, were 60 ringgit a pair for both yeah so it's proving to be quite uh, affordable to actually uh, revive or re restore rejuvenate an accord sm4 all of you who have always liked the accord sm4 you can pick them up cheap now uh, easily for about five five grand uh, good ones and uh, manual variants oh that's ken himself hello Hi. hello thanks bro looks good man nice nice fit so yeah, there are, there, are, there are manual variants, 5-speed manual variants for sale. This one is actually a uh, automatic, but that's fine. I've got plenty of manual cars to keep me entertained. So it's good to have, a, good to have an automatic. What sold me on this car was of course not the exterior, but the interior is still so nice. And I've sat in it, I've not driven this car, I've sat in it, it's so comfortable. These seats remind me of my Nissan Bluebird seats, they're so, so comfortable. And you want to see a cool thing? Look at the back seats. The back seats practically mimic the front seats in terms of the contours. I bet it's really comfortable back here too. So yeah, excellent. Don't forget this was an executive premium car when it first came out in the mid 90s. And she's gonna be wonderful again. There's a quick look at the dashboard. Not so bad, not too many cracks. There's a little bit here, but apparently this can be fixed quite easily. I don't know what caused that. Maybe the previous owner had a ring or something and he accidentally hit it. But uh, so there we go. There's the there's the bumper. It's gonna go onto the car. Go ahead, guys. Go for it. Yes. So the headlights, the uh, the, the characteristic diamond eye headlights, were still very nice on this car. You can see the diamond. I'll show you the diamond. This is why they are called the diamond headlights because of the diamond inside there, if you can see it. And yeah, amazed that I could actually get these, uh, these bumpers front and rear for 230 ringgit. I think the front was uh, 120, the back was uh, 110. Amazing. Plug and play, even comes with the screw holes for your number plate. Awesome, look at that such a difference yes there are some accords out there with black bumpers um unpainted bumpers there are so it's not because the car got an accident and they changed the bumpers like what we're doing now not that this car had an accident it didn't 
but uh, that was a model with uh, black bumpers. It's it entirely up to the owner whether they want to spray it uh, body color or not. I think I shall go with body color for this uh, for these bumpers because the car is going to need a full outside coat, and I'm pretty excited about that actually. So yeah, stay tuned. And I just remembered, I managed to get this from Atip. You guys remember Atip? Out in Nilai, the spare parts guy who uh, scraps cars. Yeah. So the one in the Project SM4 over there, this part was all broken. All broken. So I managed to get this whole piece. Of course, I couldn't buy just this part because it's actually one whole piece, as you can see. Yeah, that wasn't cheap. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Well worth it well worth it. this anymore this is the metal plate holder for the front bumper number plate how cool is that and since I'm sitting down check out the bill from AME Auto Parts Supply look at all that I got six items here and the total 370 awesome and the bumper is in would you guys like to see it let's go have a look at the bumper Wow look at that what a huge difference already and we haven't even put in the signal lights yet which they're doing now the signal lights will go in and yes that was that was in the bill over there as well lovely lovely what a big difference looking good bro looking good <laughs> 